Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are taking a look at a pair of Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses that were daily worn for two years. I'm sure most of you already know that I review hundreds of different pairs of sunglasses every single year, so I couldn't possibly daily a pair of sunglasses for two years straight. So what I decided to do is give this pair of sunglasses to one of my friends. Now I actually decided not to tell him that I was gonna make a video after two years because I didn't want him to baby them. I just wanted to see a real world example of what a daily pair of sunglasses would look like after two years. And just a few days ago, I went over to his house and I asked him if I could borrow his pair of Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses for a video. Of course, he said yes. And that's the pair of sunglasses that I'm holding right now. It's his exact Ray-Ban aviators that he wore for two years. So let's pop these sunglasses on face just for a second. And then we're going to head over to the table and take a very close look with the macro lens of how these sunglasses held up after two years. So here's our pair of sunglasses that were daily worn for two years. As you guys can see from far away, they actually look pretty nice and clean but if we take a closer look at them, we can see that the sunglasses definitely have had a lot of wear to them over the two years. So here on the left lens, we can see it's pretty messed up, tons of scratching and some pitting here. He said he did sit on these a couple times, and of course he also dropped the sunglasses a couple times, like most people are going to if they're not being extremely careful. Now moving over to the right hand lens, we can see it's not much better. It is very scratched up and pitted as well. But the good news is this is a pair of Ray-Ban aviators. So we can easily find genuine Ray-Ban lenses for about uh, 50 to $60 directly from Ray-Ban's website. You can easily replace these lenses by unscrewing the screw closest to the lens right here. These old lenses are just going to pop right out. And then we put the new lenses in and then screw them down and we're good to go. So on a pair of Ray-Ban aviators, you can do a lens change in about a minute. I wore these sunglasses and after wearing them for just a few seconds, you could see a ton of smudging, even though the lenses were clear, or I should say clean, because I did wipe them off with a microfiber cleaning cloth before filming the video. But yet the optical clarity was just absolutely terrible. It was very hazy and my vision was very blurry because of all these scratch marks. So these lenses definitely need to be replaced. Okay, so we know that these lenses are going to need to be replaced. Well, how about the frames? The frames are actually in very, very good condition. There are minimal scratching. As you guys can see, there really aren't any scratch marks or anything like that. And the frames actually look brand new. And now taking a look at the ear rest, we can see they really aren't too badly scratched up. They're a little bit scratched up, but they really don't look too bad considering that these sunglasses were worn every single day for two years. They definitely are usable. So now let's take a look at the nose rests. And here we can see the nose rests are still very stiff and look very good. There isn't any fading or scratching here on those nose rests. And like I said, they are very stiff and very nice, just like they should be. And we can still see the etching here in the underneath bridge. And if we take a look here at the inner right temple sunglasses, it probably is going to be very hard to show up here on video, but we can see here that the lettering still does exist on the left temple sunglasses and over here on the right temple. Again, we can see that the lettering still does exist and it says Ray-Ban made in Italy and we can still read this pretty clearly even after two years. Now, as far as the hinges go, both these hinges actually feel pretty decent when opening them up and when closing them. The right hinge right here is a little bit looser than the left, but they both actually still feel pretty nice and new even after all that time. So overall, I think these Ray-Bans did an okay job of holding up over the time. Uh, the lenses are definitely disappointing because they just were all scratched and beat up, but the frames definitely held their own and the frames can definitely live another uh, two to four years. All we have to do is replace the lenses. And I guess with these flash mirrored lenses, just be very careful if you do buy a pair, uh, not to sit on them or drop them because it is going to remove the finish and the lenses just aren't going to hold up to the abuse like a pair of Oakley sunglasses would. But if you do go ahead and abuse these sunglasses like my friend did a little bit, uh, you can always know that you can buy brand new lenses for about 50 to $60 and then put them in your pair of sunglasses and they'll be almost good as new. So let me know what you guys think about this pair of sunglasses. Do you think this pair of sunglasses is shot? Do you think this pair of sunglasses should have lasted longer? Or do you think this is a reasonable amount of wear after wearing these sunglasses and a little bit of abuse after two years? I'm very interested to know, so please leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.